Good morning world. It's another beautiful start to the day here in the Philippines. Story and Mummy are just reading through some books that we had delivered on a sea shipment from the UK. We actually bought a load of books so that we could donate them to the forest school so they have a bit more of a library but we're just trying to see which ones we want to keep for Story and which ones would be good for the rest of the kids all together as a group. A bit of quality checking, making sure they're decent, they haven't been all ripped up because we bought them in a bundle from eBay, which is a great thing to do when you have a kid. Go online, buy their clothes in bundles, buy their books in bundles. There's so many parents that have finished with stuff that want to kind of repurpose them and it's a good way to not just keep buying something new and recycling. We've been having a beautiful little bird visitor come to the house for the last couple of months now it's interesting because instead of getting the crow and raven attacks at the window now we get this lovely little singing bird that comes to the window instead and does a little dance it's been happening this way for a while and it seems to have replaced the ravens so i'm really happy about that because being woken up by a noisy black bird blasting the window was never a good thing <laughs> but having the lovely sound of this bird singing is really cute Poppy's been a good girl this morning. She's done a lot of playing. She's been out for a very early morning walk and we've been doing some lead training as usual. And she's just been a nice little rester, having a little sleep around the house at the moment. I am in my dirty, greasy, mechanical clothes and I've got my hair completely covered up because I'm about to go outside and do a little bit of maintenance work on the car. I had a bit of a mishap yesterday. I'll show you what happened. So if you know anything about cars, you might be able to see this engine bay is looking a little bit empty. So we were just about to go for a drive yesterday. I'd done my morning checks. I check this car every single day. And seconds before we were about to go out, one of the plugs on the carburetor burst out. This is a new part as well. I bought this not long ago. And back here, I noticed that there was fuel shooting out and going onto the back. I could really smell it. We had to abandon all of our plans to go out and I spent pretty much the whole of yesterday disassembling the carburetor and basically refurbishing it, making sure that all of the gaskets were in place and all of the plugs were fully pushed in. And it just goes to show, Sasha and I were saying that, you know, these vehicles, they are so precision, you know, one tiny little hole that gets blocked or one teeny tiny little screw that falls out of place and renders your entire vehicle inoperable. And we were just talking about how these days, not many people, especially in our generation and the new generation, know how to maintain or understand a vehicle. And it's kind of lost on the granddad's generation because back in those days, with cars this old, people used to do their own maintenance all the time. And if you didn't, then you would get stuck somewhere. I do take pride in being able to fix a car that we drive. And it always gives me some form of satisfaction to know where all of these pipes and wires go. But I do realize that having a car that is 30 years old, you cannot be complacent. There is not a day that goes by that I don't open the bonnet and have a look under here. And I don't think many people can handle that, especially not these days with cars that are completely controlled by computer and nobody can touch them apart from a mechanic with another computer. We are heading out for Story's yoga lesson later today, so I need to make sure I can finish this job before the afternoon. I'm gonna get everything tightened up, go for a test drive, and then we'll be good to go. Everything's going surprisingly well. I think we've fixed the problem. I mentioned before that we are having a vintage truck built. It's a truck from the 1960s, a Toyota Stout and we're having a resto mod done with a Nissan Skyline engine put inside and lots of cool things are going to be done to this truck but because it's such an old vehicle I'm using this car as a test case I'm ordering things, I'm testing things, seeing what works here in the Philippines what doesn't, what deteriorates quickly so that we don't have the same problems when the truck arrives I'd rather that vehicle was much more reliable than this we're going for fuel injections to the carburetors lots of cool things are coming and we think it should be ready early next year. Hey Stinker! Go more like petrol. Like that. Daddy, Daddy, film this, film this. What do you want me to film? Whoa, look at your beautiful hair. Bunches. Can I see it from the back? Whoa, it's really long. That hair is growing. We've just driven to General Luna and we're going to grab some lunch here. Homemade taste. 
So she still is at yoga class this afternoon, but we thought we'd come in a little bit early and have some food before lesson starts. Mm. Homemade Taste has actually been closed for a long, long time, hasn't it? Yes, this is owned by a friend of ours and she's just reopened recently. Yeah. And they've revamped the vegan menu a bit. So it's, Yeah, they've changed it up. It used to be like a sit down full menu, um, but now it's a more Karen Dewa style. style. Feeling hungry, looking forward to this. Hi! Good kids! Let's go get some food. Is that pumpkin? Okay. And this one is okra. Okay. Okay, it's good. And then we have pencil here. Ah, okay. Good. Looks like a root beer. <laughs> oh, like a milk tea. Is that the um, uh, tapioca the pearls? Uh, it's a vegan. Vegan. Oh, I know. Like the little crispy, like crispy ones, yeah? Yeah. Should we try that? Thanks. Sorry, might like that. Yeah, she would like them. Yeah. She? Okay, let's. Yeah, let's try one. Let's try that one then. She'll like that. Salt and pepper. She likes sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while, hasn't it? Nice artwork on the wall. Remember this? Yeah. When we come up here, we I, I do, but when we go downstairs, I don't. Yeah. Do you remember there were so many pillows here? Yeah, there's not so many pillows now. Well, they used to have an emoji pillow. Do you remember that? It had like a face on it. Yeah, you made like a den of pillows the last time you were here. You made like yeah. a kind of cosy bed to lie down on. Yeah, there's a new floor, isn't there? Yeah. Pebbles. Pebble floor. I don't think it was like that before. Definitely not. So you're smack in the centre of General Luna up here. I remember actually when the pandemic wasn't a thing, there were so many people walking up and down this street. Yeah. You could actually people watch from here. Yeah. Now, nice. I'm just quite seeing. still nice. It's yeah. Just quieter. Much quieter. Still got a few of the games over there. Jenga's gone though, isn't it? This yeah. was a decoration. Was it? I think, I think this is a decoration now that my mum just said. It's a game. It's a game that we used to play. And then... Hello! Look, Story, it's Teresa and Louie. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Story if she remembered Louie and she yeah. couldn't remember. It's been so long. Hi, How are you? How are you guys? Yeah, we're really good. Do you remember Louie? He's grown up a lot since last time. Yeah, he's grown up a lot. <laughs> I'm a bit bigger than him. Definitely a bit bigger, yeah. Look at the size difference. You're a big girl now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Back to his mummy. Story showing Louie all the animals on her new dress. Well, it's not really a dress, is it? It's like a jumpsuit, this one. <laughs> she really does look really big now. <laughs> Standing it, saying that though, Louis's grown up a lot. He used to be just like a baby in Teresa's arms. So much time has passed since we arrived on this island. The rains are falling. Only a little bit though. Well, I'm happy to say that we made it all the way here in the car, no problems. I think we were still riding a tuk tuk the last time we came here. That's how much time has passed. Aww, sweet girls. <laughs> The food is arriving, looking very good. Salamat. Looking forward to trying these empanadas. They actually look like the super burger ones. That looks like Looks yummy, doesn't it? Yeah. Looking forward to it? <laughs> the store is doing an excellent job getting us water. Bye, Louis. See you later. Bye, All right, ready to eat, Story? Ooh, yum, yum. Thank you. Get your energy up for your yoga class later, yeah? Or are you going to sit over there, are you? I'm going to sit Alright, give it a go. Tell us what you think of it. Yeah, I just ate the crumbs. You just ate the crumbs? <laughs> What's on the inside there? Corn and seaweed. Corn and seaweed? Mm, you can see lots of fresh veg in there. That looks good, doesn't it? Vegan fitterons. Fitteron, 100% plant based, salt and vinegar flavour, made with brown rice, green peas, soybeans and cassava. Okay. Mmm. So sour. That's really good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Mm, tastes like a proper salt and vinegar crisp, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So apparently the owner of this company actually eats here all the time. And he was like, oh, I should serve this here. So <laughs> that's how this appeared in the shop. It's a nice little addition. It goes good with the food. I think this is the super burger empanadas from Chrisman. 
They also serve these in Vajja. Really good. Got a slight sweetness to them. Here we go. We need some more space on the table, don't we? Let's clear some space. That looks good. This is free. Oh, thank you. Salama. This is what our food is looking like. Actually looks really fresh. It's all made every day fresh actually. You can check all the greens there. Got some okra, lady fingers sometimes they're called. And then we just got these free soups as well, munga bean soup. That one's got pumpkin in it. Um, I think hmm? they're the same. Both the same, yeah? Get a close up. Let's see. There you go, lift it up. Nice, nutritious. All those mung beans in there. Yeah, that does Veggies, look good. Veggies, really fresh. I would describe that as hearty. Hearty, yeah, it's a hearty soup. <laughs> like a stew. And it's steaming as well, perfect for this rainy weather, hey? Yeah. This is the ginger cucumber juice. We've got two of those. And Story just went for the cucumber juice over there. Look, you look at the bottom, you can see all the ginger yeah. floating around in there. It's got a mild sweetness to it, but it's mostly potent ginger. Oh, really God, ginger in mine. Nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff? Mm -hmm. oh, nice, yeah. This is Teresa's oh, really? okay. experimental sea seek. Did you say you made it with mushrooms? Yeah? yeah. Looking mung bean. Mung, mung bean mushroom. Yeah. Now we, we tried the mung bean, fried mung bean. Mm, and it's it. become one of the best sellers. Yeah, yes. definitely. Okay. Wow. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Thank you so much. Is it spicy for you? Is it, it is spicy. It's okay. It's okay. spicy, too spicy for Sarah. Sorry. <laughs> Because I know people are looking for sushi, but they yeah. are vegan and they want like taco, yeah. so it's expensive. Mm, it's got a good flavour. Yeah. Mm. That's too, yeah. That one, though. We're all exiting the building, full up, down the steep steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to come back tomorrow, do you? You liked it that much? <laughs> I think that was a fan story. <laughs> You're a fan of yours, somebody who loves you a lot. <laughs> So everything we ate today at Homemade Taste came to a grand total of 610 pesos. That wasn't including the mung bean soup, which was a freebie, and also the CC was a freebie. So you can gauge the price for yourself. Just heading over to the Spotted Pig now to get some coffee, just before Story Yoga lesson. Yum. All right, Story has been dropped off at yoga. She's doing the cleaning of the sala. First one here today taking her job seriously check it out <laughs> and we are going to end today's video right here oh. whoa <laughs> <laughs> i won't sit on that no. <laughs> not structurally it's table <laughs> and we will see you in the next video bye, bye. stand on that yeah. it's really wobbly a bit wobble it's been got out termites yeah those termites got in